In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I welcome you all to this Eucharistic celebration. On this day, I request you to pray for Brother Pankratius Turki who died yesterday. He is a member of Society of St. Paul, who served this congregation more than 70 years. Let us especially pray for him, that God may forgive his sins and accept him in his abode in heaven. Now to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist in a worthy manner, let us call to mind our sins, our imperfections, and sincerely seek His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have really sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what I have done, done and, and in what, what I have failed, failed to do, through, through, my, fault, through, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all, all the angels, angels and saints, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, Look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and forever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. If anyone imagines that he knows something, he does not yet know he ought to know. But if anyone loves God, he is known by God. Therefore, as to the eating of food offered to idols, we know that an idol has no real existence, and that there is no God but one. For although there may be so-called gods in heaven or on earth, as indeed there are many gods and many lords, yet for us there is one God, the Father, from whom are all things and for whom we exist and one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom are all things and through whom we exist. However, not all possess this knowledge, but some, through former association with idols, eat food as really offered to an idol, and their conscience being weak is defiled. And so by your knowledge, this weak person is destroyed, the brother for whom Christ died. 
Does sinning against your brothers and wounding their conscience when it is weak, you sin against Christ. Therefore, if food makes my brother stumble, I will never eat meat, lest I make my brother stumble. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Some your response. Lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. Lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You yourself know my resting and my rising. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. You know all my ways through and through. Lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. For it was you who formed my inmost being. Knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you who wonderfully made me. How wonderful are your works. Lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. O oh, search me, God, and know my heart. O oh, test me and know my thoughts. See that my path is not wicked, and lead me in the way everlasting. Lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. If we love one another, God abides in us, and His love is perfected in us. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 6, verses 27 to 38. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, I say to you who hear, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. To one who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from one who takes away your clock, do not withhold your tunic either. Give to everyone who begs from you, and from one who takes away your goods, do not demand them back. And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. If you love those who love you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you expect to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount. But love your enemies and do good and lend expecting nothing in return and your reward will be great and you will be sons of the Most High for he is kind to the ungrateful and the evil. Be merciful even as your father is merciful. Judge not and you will not be judged. Condemn not and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put in your lap. For with the measure you use it, will be measured back to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in today's gospel, Jesus is asking us to forgive our enemies. Now, who are our enemies? The enemy usually is the one who rejects us. The enemy usually is the one who points out our mistake. The enemy usually is the one who 
nor does not comply with our opinions, ideas, and so on. But Jesus in today's gospel seems to give a new definition of an enemy. Enemy, according to Jesus, is not the one who rejects us, but the one whom we reject. Enemy is the one whom we do not accept and so on. So probably Jesus has at least three reasons why we need to forgive our enemy. First of all, we need to forgive our enemy because the enemies are the mirrors of our life. That is to say, they who point out where we are going wrong, maybe for good reason or for bad reason. In this way, they work as mirrors so we can correct our faults. We can mend our ways and we can come back to our normal activity. Second probable reason why Jesus is asking us to forgive our enemy is to make us vigilant. You know, when enemies attack us, what we do? We, are, we become active. We are vigilant. Take the example of uh, Indochina border tension these days. Now our army is prepared. Our politicians are making policies so that they can counterattack the invasion of the enemy. So in this way, in our life too, the enemies make us vigilant all the time. And the third probable reason why Jesus is asking us to forgive our enemy is that we are forgiven by God. Since we have been forgiven by God, we need to forgive others. And this will make us children of God. Therefore, my dear friends, today, first of all, let us ask ourselves, how do we define enemies? At the same time, let us earnestly pray that we may forgive our enemies and thus we strive to become children of God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be placed into you, Lord God. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Brother Pancratius Triki, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in your death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Paul, Blessed James Alberione, and Blessed Timoteo Giacardo, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohes to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection, mind and body, and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit to eternal life who lives and reigns forever and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Trust in the Lord, O oh, you saints of God, and bless His name, and bless His name. Happy are they Bless his name and bless his name. Trust in the Lord, O oh, you saints of God, and bless his name and bless his name. Happy are they who trust in him and bless his name and bless his name. Exalt you just in the Lord our God. Praise from the upright is fitting. Sing to him a new song with the harp. Pluck the strings with shouts of gladness. Trust in the Lord, O oh, you saints of God, and bless his name, and bless his name. Happy are 
Dios.